Hey there, what's up? Uh, this is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to make sound waves. Uh, I searched, you know, on the internet, all over the internet, like how to make these kind of effects because I wanted to know like how to bend these things like uh, in one place to be like really thin and how it gets like really wide in some other places. But on the inter internet, you only can find like how to do with zigzag and the zigzag effect. Basically, it's uh, pretty, pretty much limited. So yeah, let's do this. Um, I'm going to create a actually I'm just going to put these at the bottom in here. OK, so <clears throat> make sure you're on the stroke. You don't have fill. If you have some fill going on, some fill color, just click on none. So it's going to disappear and click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. And uh, let's select the line segment tool. Press and hold shift and create a straight line. OK, we're going to go to the effects, distort and transform, zigzag. All right, this is the first step. We're going to make the zigzag. As you can see, we can put it on smooth and we can increase the size and, of course, the wavelength, right? Is that how it's called? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I can, I think, to decrease the size a little more, make it more dense and yeah, it should look like something like this. How, how is the bottom one? Yeah. OK, I'm going to click OK. Mainly this is uh, what you can see on the Internet. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to make the previous effect that I made like firstly. So um, <clears throat> let's go to the brushes. It's right here. If you don't have the brushes, go to Windows and select the brush. So it's going to appear for you. We're going to drag this to the brush and we're going to select pattern brush and click OK and click OK again. OK, so I'm just going to place this somewhere around here. I'm going to create a new line. With pen tool or, or with the line tool, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to select the um, the wave I did. So right now we did this and the trick is you basically can manipulate the uh, uh, lines profile however you want it. So I can select a line profile. For example, let's say I want to select this and as you can see it smoothens out this part. It's made it made it like really thin and you can adjust however you want it. I also going to uh, show you how to customize uh, perfectly without you know going and changing uh, these wavelengths. OK, I'm going to show you more. So if I increase the width, let me check what is going on. Like it's going to make it bigger even. Check that out. But it's going to make also thicker, which is really interesting. I didn't saw this before. Um, let me do some quick experiments because uh, this is pretty much new to me, but it looks pretty good. Look at that. So it's it's a lot of fun. I got to admit that I'm going to create a new artboard and I'm going to show you how to um, customize these. So you got like different kind of profiles in here. I'm going to show you one or two profiles. So this is a popular one. This is another one where this area is, it basically gets thinner and uh, yeah. OK, anyways, so <clears throat> you can test these out, see what's going on here. And they're like only a few profile and you, you don't have that much of an options. Uh, I'm going to go back to default, actually going to select the default. And from here, I'm going to show you how you can customize it however you want it. And now I only know the shortcut, the shift plus W, but uh, you can go here. This is the width tool. We're going to adjust the width of, uh, you know, of the line. So this is the width tool. This is what you need to select or shift plus W. And with this, you can see it's going to show a dot on the line. And we added the anchor point from here. I just going to pull it however you want. Long press, of course. And you can see it made this part wide. Of course, if I go to this anchor point, as you can see, I can pull it uh, to the right or to the left, wherever I want. So it's going to make, for example, if I pull it to the right, it's going to make this part thicker. Now I'm left with this anchor point. Actually, it's not even doing nothing with the, with the anchor point. I don't even know why I put that there. Anyway, so I'm going to adjust this area. So this one is like more thinner. Actually, I'm going to make it like really thin. 
So as you can see now it started to disappear. I'm gonna add more in here. This is gonna be really wide. Whoa, sweet. So it's gonna increase the thickness, but you can decrease it, so. And it's going to make it, uh, yeah, it's gonna, you know, affect also the width of the stroke. So I don't know, man, It's uh, this is a weird ass software where you, where you can't do that much. Like some options are like limited, but I figured out this. So it's pretty nice. I'm gonna try to make this really wide again. Like somewhere around here and decrease this size. Oh, sweet. Wow, I, I like how thick this is like. Uh, and if I decrease the stroke... Wait, I won't decrease it, I'm gonna... Yeah, there you go. I don't know, actually it's, it's just making longer and it's putting more space between, so it's not that good this either. I'm gonna make this longer, the artboard. <clears throat> and I'm gonna decrease the st stroke then. Actually, you know what? I can create a new copy. Just found out this right now. And uh, I'm gonna leave this the original. I'm gonna expand this, go to object, expand appearance. And now you can also distort it. As you can see, you don't have that line. You have the wavy line. You're gonna press and hold alt. And there you have it, it's distorted. So this one is the most accurate one. You know, instead of like doing it manually, you don't even know how to probably do it. Uh, uh, automatically like this so this is the solution how it's done and uh, man it was, it, it was a lot of fun doing this uh, some stuff I didn't even know so right now I know uh, but yeah before I couldn't make this happen now I did and yeah super cool uh, hope it helped uh, thanks for watching don't forget to you know subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and uh, yeah have a great day